Hey buddy, it's Crazy Good Time 4 and welcome to a brand new Let's Play where today we will be playing Plants vs. Zombies on the PC. Now, of course, this game is available on many other, you know, platforms such as, uh, you know, Mac, you know, the other, the other computer, um, what else is there? Mobile. Uh, and consoles and you know consoles and hand handhelds such as the PlayStation 3 the Xbox and the Xbox 360 the DS and either the PSP or the PS Vita I don't know which one out of those but I'm playing on a PC version because this is my personal favorite version and uh, the one I enjoy the most personally I've played this version the mobile version and the um, or sorry, the Android version and the uh, DS version. Those are the only three I've played. I do own the 360 version. I still have yet to play it though. But anyways, let's get started. So I'm gonna cre obviously create my username. Gotta go with the the usual crazy good two nine and four. Awesome. And let's get started. Uh, Steam Cloud. Ah, eh, you know what? <sighs> Should we do Steam Cloud? Hmm. Uh, so your saves will be located in machine you locked into. Nah, I think we're good on Steam Cloud. Okay, so Plaster Zombies, we're here on the main menu. Um, we have different, you know, options. So obviously we can create a Zombitar, we can start the adventure, the options help and quit, and then we also have achievements, which, you know, there are a total of, I think, 21 achievements, and, and you know, I think there are a total of 21 achievements in the game. Um, but a little Easter egg is if you scroll all the way down, you see some like references to like other games and you end up in China. <laughs> so there's always been this ongoing joke about like how if you dig all the way down, uh, you will end up in China. Obviously that's not always true, but it, it, it's, it's been, it, it's, you know, it's been a joke that I think, I don't know when it originated, but like, I, I believe it's been pretty popular around the time of this game, which was 2009. Um, and, uh, they just wanted to put it in just as a little, you know, why not? Uh, so yeah, these are the achievements. We're gonna be getting, uh, all, all of them. I'll try to. It's gonna be difficult, but I know we can try and get all of them, uh, during the playthrough. And obviously there's a little weird, like, transition to me because I do not have 3D acceleration on. And the reason why is because it makes it hard to record. It just does not work with 3D acceleration. So before we start the adventure, uh, well, first let's read the help, because I think it's pretty funny. Help for plants versus and plants and zombies game. When the zombies show up, just sit there and don't do anything. You you win the game when the zombies get to your house. This help section brought to you by the zombies. I've always loved that so much because it's it's just like a funny little you know thing that they add into the game. They didn't have to, but it did. You know, I like it personally. I like it, and many of you guys might like it too. I don't know. So let's create our zombitar. Now zombitar is something that's. So this is the avatar. This avatar will in fact appear in the main game. Uh-huh, and you'll see exactly why, uh, what I mean. Uh, so here's a portrait we have to create. Uh, I think I'll go, it's a good skin. I think that's a pretty good skin. Okay, hair will go with um, this one. We'll get a nice blue color to it. Facial hair, nah, we don't need facial hair. Tidbits, these are tidbits such as like this. Yeah, you know, I might add, yeah, these nice eyebrows. Eyewear, let's go with these. I think those look pretty good. Uh, let's go for the light blue on those. Clothes, let's go with the black uh, leather thing. <laughs> now, obviously, the clothes don't actually go on here, but, you know. Still, it's a nice portrait to uh, have. Accessories, we will go with the spiked Netflix. Netflix, what? The spiked net necklace. And then we'll go with the sideways hat, we're we'll making a red one, and then backdrops will make it a nice graveyard. Alrighty, finished. And now we have it. Now it's saved it now it's saved as a JPEG on our uh, on my uh, computer. That's cool. Now this avatar, like I stated, will be appearing in the game, and yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. So with that with all that said and done, I think it's time to start the adventure. Now, Plants vs. Zombies, this game is a tower defense game, and you'll see what I mean. This is the whole, like, general idea of the game. You, you know, use plants to your advantage, and you use them to fend off the zombies. As you can see, there are zombies right over here. 
Now, in the first level, you only get one lane of grass, um, but you have a pea shooter with you. Pea shooters are the beginning, I guess, the beginning uh, plants that you would obtain uh, and you can use. Now, um, these pea shooters will be your main source of, like, firepower, at least for the moment. There, there will be some other methods to like better firepower, but that's gonna be like later um, Not like that much later. It's gonna be in this level Obviously, it, it's like level one out of one. It's gonna be like level one out of two, you know, so and so on and so forth So I, I usually call like the whole thing a level and then each little thing a, um, a stage I think I think that's pretty good, right? Yeah stage makes the most amount of sense Although levels and stages are basically the exact same thing, but that's besides the point. And as you can see, sun falls from the sky. Now that sun is actually very, very useful. And the reason why is simply due to the fact that it actually gives you sun that you can use for your plants. Speaking of plants, we got another one. And as you can see, it is in fact a sunflower. Now this sunflower is super helpful because it gives you additional sun. Now that's going to be very useful. Especially with like the whole theme of Plants vs. Zombies, where you have to have, you know, sun to, uh, to get, you know, and, yeah. You have to have sun to get more plants. The more plants you have, the better your, uh, your, I guess, guard is? I don't know if the guard is the right word. Um, but essentially what they're saying is the more sunflowers you have, the better. And that's true, you know, the more sunflowers you have, the more, um, sun you're gonna be able to get in a level. Now, speaking of sun, there is an achievement, actually, uh, that you get um, from uh, getting a specific amount of sun. It's a pretty high amount of sun, I'm not going to lie. It's a pretty gosh darn high amount of sun. Um, and we won't be getting that achievement for a bit. I don't know how long it's- I don't know how long it's gonna take before we get it. But, like, it has to be a level where, like, I'm able to get an absolute crap ton of sun. Like, a whole lot. And I feel like I might have an idea, because there is a plant later on that will help us- help me with that. Let me just tell you that right now. So what I know- my usual strategy for Plants vs. Zombies is get like a whole like good two rows- or sorry, two columns of um, of sunflowers. And then have the rest be like firepower or like defense and stuff like that. So that's- that's my- that's my strat. It's always worked and it, it's, you know- and I like it. It's personally my kind of my favorite kind of strat. Um, as you can see, we have a flag here. That flag means there's going to be a wave of zombies appearing. And that wave, it's not usually difficult, especially like this later on. Later on, it can, in, in fact, um, be a little bit on the tough side or on the hectic side. Um, but overall, it's, it should not be that bad. Yeah, no. Well, depending on the level and how my um, how my setup is, that's 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 of course true. So yeah, like one more B shooter, maybe another one if like uh, what's it called? If I get enough sun. The so final wave, as you can see, with the waves, our uh, my zombie tar actually um, uh, appears, and yeah, it kind of like leads the wave of zombies, which I find really cool. I, I, I've always liked that. Let's help out this guy, this row, I guess. And I should be taken care of very soon, and boom. Now we got another plant. And this plant is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. I do like this plant in the right amount. So this is the cherry bomb. It blows up all zombies in an area. That's pretty useful. Oh, and now we have a new type of zombie. That, my friends, is a conehead zombie. That zombie has a little more defense than a regular zombie. So it does take a, a little more to, like, take him down. But overall, it shouldn't be terrible? <laughs> I don't know, we'll see what happens. You won't also- you won't believe how much, uh, it's like taking me to actually record PVZ. Like, one thing's for certain is that computer games are kind of hard to move for me to play, because it's like, it's a different setup than just like, um, console games. Different setup, you know, I can just go to my Elgato software, pull up the Audacity, and then start recording. Simple as that. With computers, it can be a little difficult, especially when your computer recording software goes to uh, a black screen when playing this game, and this game specifically. When I did uh, Legacy XP a while in, uh, back in November with Conrad, 
I didn't, we have we had absolutely no problems. I mean, yes, the game did freeze, but that's just a thing about that's just a, a legacy thing, you know. That's not a uh, an OBS kind of thing or a computer kind of thing. It's literally a legacy kind of thing. I think it's just going after the fact that Brawl had the same thing. You know, Brawl was very infamous for its uh, crashing, <laughs> so. I mean, and Legacy XP is in fact a um, a mod of Brawl, so yeah, it uses Brawl's base game and just like adds to it, so that's why it doesn't, I did not mean to put that there, okay, that's why it's, you know, it, it tends to crash. PvZ on the other hand, it's like, <sighs> I tried recording it in full screen and it didn't quite work out, so due to the fact that, um, it's I would go to like it would I would start recording I'll do display capture I would start recording and it would be absolutely perfect you know no problems whatsoever and then all of a sudden I open up PVZ and boom it just like it goes to black screen I'm like why why is this happening I'm super super confused um and I honestly to this day still don't know why but this is literally my third attempt at recording um, I actually did record two twice before but I scrapped those two videos. Um, well, there's a reason. Uh, the second one is more logical. You know, this one's not... The first uh, The first time is not as logical, but it's still a reason. Mm, excuse me. So essentially, what happened was... I, uh... What, what's the word I'm looking for? The first time, I recorded the whole episode. Then I realized it was like... Super long. I made it way too gosh darn long, and I and I didn't want to redo it, but that was really the real reason. Um, also, yeah, new plant, guys. <laughs> we got a new plant. This plant is gonna be useful. I'm gonna tell you that right now. This plant is going to be useful. This is a walnut. It blocks off zombies and protects your other plants. Nice. I like this. Now we got the same uh, same kinds of zombies, and now we just have another guy to go with, and we also have all five rows to work with which is super super helpful and I really like that all right um so what was I saying all right the failed recordings the first time the first episode was way too long at first it didn't bother me like at all and it, and it didn't then I recorded the second episode I decided to do just like um a few levels just not make it too long uh just you know just so it wouldn't be too long um and so I did finished the recording went back to check it and the whole video was a black screen, and that really sucked. It really, really sucked. So, um, I had to redo it. The uh, reason why, you know, I could, I, you could just say, you know, I, I could just um, replay the, uh, I could just replay the game, and you know, it won't be that much of a deal. It kind of is. Uh, simply did not the whole replaying the game part. It's just the whole achievement part, because I want to unlock all the achievements. Not all of them, but like I want to unlock a majority of the achievements on video. On video. I don't want to be like, hey, so like in the failed recording, I got this. You know, I don't want it to be like that. I want it to like actually show up in the um in the recording. So that's that was main that was the main reason why, you know. And it just kind of sucked that I, had, that I couldn't, uh, you know, do it well. I, I, I couldn't, you know, do it the first time. But hey, I'm here now. Um, oh, the second time too. Uh, the second time is much more reasonable, and there's a reason. The reason why I actually redid it, uh, I had to redo PVC a third time, is simply due to the fact that um, when I f originally recorded the, um, when I originally recorded. I'm gonna put a walnut down. This walnut's very useful for defense. Let me just tell you that right now. Um, when I originally recorded the f first and second episodes of the uh, Let's Play, I made them a little shorter. Uh, oh my gosh, come on! I need some sort of like okay, sure. I'll go. I'll go for a pea shooter. I don't know how much, how well this is gonna work, but I guess we'll find out. Um, my microphone was my audio. My commentary was recording through the wrong mic and. Gosh darn it, that really sucked. I'm not gonna lie, that really gosh freaking sucked. And, um, to this day, uh, not to this day, but like, you know, it just sucks I have to record it all over again. It's like, why do you have to do this to me? Okay, now I have to. This is not going super well, simply because, um, this guy's actually starting to get through. So I'm gonna let that walnut chill. I'm gonna let him chill with the walnut. I'm gonna get another pea shooter for this guy, because he's getting a little too close. But luckily, he should be taken care of pretty soon. 
Okay, I need a pea shooter like down here. I really do. I need another sunflower too. But a pea shooter, he's going to get through. Oh gosh, another cone head. Dang it. Okay, um, get a pea shooter. Take care of him quickly. <laughs> like, please, I beg of you. Okay, here we go. Boom, I can fend him off for, for a bit. Okay, perfect. That works really well. Man, I just I was just explaining everything that happened with the uh, recordings. Yes, I recorded with I recorded with the wrong device, I guess you could say. Um, I instead of recording with my Yeti, I just I apparently uh, recorded with my webcam, and the audio was just terrible. Holy crap! The game was fine. The gameplay was perfectly fine. It was just the audio, my commentary. It was oh. Man, the fact that that happened, it just, it sucks. It really, gosh, it really, really sucks that I have to redo this all over again. But hey, you know, I guess it's not too much of a problem except for the fact that I gotta get these videos out. You know how, you know, this summer, it's daily upload, so it's daily upload time, so it's like, I kind of need to do this. <laughs> Anyways, uh, man, man, oh man. Let's see, we're here, and hopefully this is gonna work out super well. I really, really hope, uh, you know, it doesn't fail, because that, that's just gonna suck. Honestly, that's just going to suck. Let's get another one. Let's take care of him. And he should be down super soon, so maybe, especially since, you know, you know what, screw it, we'll use a cherry bomb. So yeah, it cover it, it has a good blast radius, because it covers, like, this much, i say? Yeah, a good amount, I'm not gonna lie. Now we got a shovel. Let's you dig up a plan to make room for another plan. This is going to be a very, very useful tool. Tool? What tool? Ooh, now my favorite character. Greetings, neighbor. The name's Crazy Dave, but you can just call me Crazy Dave. Listen, I've got a surprise for you. But first, I'll need you to clear your lawn. Use your shovel and dig up those plants. Let the digging commence. So we pick up a shovel, and we dig up a plant. Simple as that. Okay, goody. Now for the surprise. We're going bowling. Here, take this walnut. Why do I put a walnut on your hand? Because I'm crazy. Now go, bowl me your winner. Crazy Dave, what a lad. Love this guy. Let me check if it's like recording well. I think we're good. I think it's recording from the Yeti. Okay, just checking. Let's get them. Come on, put that down. Perfect. Do, 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 do. I love this music. It's very nice. The music in this game is so good. Like, holy crap. It's just amazing. It's honestly just amazing. It's just wonderful. 10 out of 10, people. 10 out of 10. <sighs> Alright. Um, so, this is walnut bowling. You get two types of walnuts. You get the regular walnut, and you also get an explodo nut. Um, now, walnuts are uh, obviously act different here than in like a regular defense uh, level. Uh, sim simply due to the fact that you use them as bowling balls and they bowl over zombies. You can actually get combos from zombies uh, by bowling uh, multiple with one walnut, um, but you don't get an a, a reward for it until like a much later time, you know, and you'll see what I mean by that. Um, but yeah, this is, this is basically the whole premise of it. You can put a walnut on literally any of the, on any of the squares behind this red line. And Explorer Nut are gonna, are gonna be useful, they're gonna be pretty useful, especially like when it gets really hectic uh, with the zombies, um, but you'll see when that's gonna happen. I mean, here could be a good time to use an Explorer Nut, but I think, I think I'm fine for the moment. Yeah, I think I am, that's the thing, I don't exactly know. Okay. Got a few here, but like, shouldn't be too much of that not be- that not mean to put that there. I meant to put it over here so it could pro possibly combo into him. It's whatever, we'll, we'll just- uh, Overall, this is not that difficult of a minigame. It really is not that- not that difficult of a minigame. It's pretty easy and also pretty enjoyable. It's a nice, relaxing experience, especially, you know, from the main kind of... story thing of the game. I don't know how to explain it. But, um... Uh, well, to be honest with you, the the regular, like, concept of the game, like, the whole tower defense, like, planting your, you know, plants, actually, it's relaxing as it is, like, and, to be honest. You know, I'm gonna use one, because we're getting, we're literally getting non-stop explode on us. Okay, that's better. Yo, this guy right here, you know what, I'll take him down with this one. 
Alright, we had four Explodo Nuts and one Wild Nuts. I think we should just go with uh, some Explodo Nuts at this point. Just to get it over with. There's one right there, one right here. It should take care of all of them. No, actually. Oh, we got this this one guy. Okay, let's take care of uh, him with a Wild Nut. And there we go. New plants time. We got this boy right here. Now, this boy, I like him a lot. This is a really, really useful plant. This is the potato mine. It explodes on contact, but it takes time to arm itself. So you'll see exactly what that means. Uh, oh gosh, we have another uh, another zombie. Hate those guys. Those guys are very annoying. But we will be ending it off the episodes right here. We're gonna be going to the main menu, and yeah. So. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies. I really hope you guys enjoy this Let's Play. I know I will, but I hope it's going to be enjoyable for you guys because I've been wanting to do this for a while. Like, for a lot of years now. Um, for many years. And uh, I'm just super glad I have the opportunity, the ability, to do it now. So, yeah. Um, uh, in the next episode, though, we will be continuing with level 1 and finishing it off. I know we will finish it off because we only have a few levels left. I'm uh, sorry, a few uh, stages left in that one level. So, yeah. Um, uh, subscribe if you like my content and you want to see more. Go ahead and click that notification bell. It would really help me out. It would get... And also, you would, it would get you notified when I next upload, because sometimes subscriptions can be a little wonky on YouTube. So, you know, hitting the notifi notification bell really helps, especially if you want to see more of my content. Um, like this video and share it with your friends or a random stranger. Um, and comment down below your answers for today's question of the day. Um, how about before my question? What is your opinion on tower defense games? That's gonna be my question. I personally like them, especially ones like Plants vs. Zombies. Um, you know, I actually talked to Jeff about this, and he's like, Plants vs. Zombies is not a tower defense game, because you're not defending a tower. But like, to be fair, it doesn't a tower defense game doesn't exactly have to mean you're defending a tower. It just means you're defending something that, like a tower, you know, something that's like a base of, of, of a base of sorts. And heck, even looking up the genre of Plants vs. Zombies, it says clearly, uh, Tower Defense. It's like, come on, Jeff. It's not that difficult to understand, I'm just saying. Anyways, so comment your down below. Follow me on my social media, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Cause I do stuff there. Also, check me out on my Twitch, cause I stream... Uh, when I can, I'm trying to- I'm gonna try to get back into streaming at fir at first. Or at first, would that make sense? First, I'm gonna try to like catch up on videos, get like ahead, and, okay, not catch up, but like definitely get ahead of video uh, when it comes to videos. Especially since I'm going to a friend's house for a week and a few days, um, and I really, really need to get these videos done. I need to get like about five Plants of Zombies rec uh, videos recorded, um, and this is not only good, this is not gonna be the only Let's Play appearing now, because you know how I did melee and RPG at the same time. Well, I'm gonna be doing something. At very similar. Now that are we, now that both of them are finished, Plants vs Zombies is the thing. I'm gonna be doing another Let's Play at the same time, and that Let's Play is going to be released tomorrow, the first episode. Um, I actually do have like good nine episodes recorded for the Let's Play. Yes, I, I don't know why, um, but I did, and for some reason I, I just wanted to record that Let's Play so much. But just it's mainly due to the fact that um. It was just really difficult to record PVZ. I think that was the reason why. Um, but yeah, so look forward to that episode one of the new let of another new Let's Plays coming out tomorrow. Which one do you which, will you guys enjoy more? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Maybe you, hey, maybe you guys and maybe you guys would enjoy both. That'd be really cool. Um, anyways, so enough blabbering. Um, Twitch, yeah, I forgot about Twitch. Uh, Follow me on there if you would like, it will really help me out, and I will get you notified when I am next streaming. So, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, all the links will be, will be down below in the description, and I'll be seeing you guys next time. Pop-Tarts! Out.